Hello and welcome to this course titled Build a Complete Cloud Application with PHP, MySQL and jQuery. My name is Eddie and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. My background and skills. I have a background a, or a bachelor's in industrial mathematics and a master's in computer and systems engineering. My skills are in HTML and CSS, PHP and MySQL, jQuery and C Sharp for game development. What you will get from this course. At the end of this course, you will learn how to create a connection between our project and database. Also, we're going to be using Bootstrap for styling and we'll make use of the Bootstrap tabs to display forms on the index page. We're going to create also the registration and login functionalities as well as implementing the client side and server side validations. We're going to use a plugin known as SwiftMailer to send emails to users after verify after registration so that they can verify their account. Also, you will learn to create secured password using a PHP password hashing algorithm and also a function called crypt for hashing of passwords. Also, we create the password reset functionality. We create our own search functionality whereby is, uh, a search query is sent to the database and the result is returned to the user. We are going to be adding, updating, and deleting data. We'll create our own admin dashboard and also display some data on the admin dashboard. We're going to use column graph to display data in the admin dashboard. Now, this course is divided into seven sections. The first section is the course setup, whereby we're just going to go through installing the required software. Then the next is the project and database setup. In this section, we'll create our project also create the database for our project and create a connection between our project and database. The next thing we will start building the registration system. In this section, we'll build the complete registration system, implementing all different functionalities from the validations also to password hashing in this section. Then the next section, which is building login system, it will follow from the registration system whereby most of the um, uh, functionalities in the registration system will be implemented or used in this section. So for the login, we'll validate the user data before they are gotten from the database. And also we'll implement the password reset in case a user forgets his password, then they will be able to reset their password. The next section will be for the user profile. We'll add, we'll update and view the user's data. We'll create the admin with the dashboard and different pages to display different data. Also, we add more functionalities. Here in this section, we'll be adding the search functionality, a confirm password functionality as well as other functionalities like styling of our pages in the project. We want to see a demo of the application we're going to be building together. This is the index page which has different tabs. Here we use the bootstrap tabs to add the login form, the sign up form, as well as the admin login. So first we need to create a user. Now we added some validations. If we try to submit this form without any values in the input field, we'll get some errors. Now these errors are as a result of the client side validations. Now if we sign up a user using a valid email, and also, if we try to sign with the, the first name, the last name, we also give you the password. But if we just type a password that does not meet the requirements and we submit, we are going to get the error that says password must be between 7 and 15 characters and must contain at least one or, or lowercase letter one uppercase letter and one digit. So we'll do that to the password. So we type that and it's going to show a message that says a verification email has been sent. So what the user needs to do is to go to his email address, then click on the link to verify his account. But if before verifying the account, we try to log in the user, we go to the login and log in the user with the email and password used during sign up. It's going to show us a message. 
that says sorry you have to verify your account before you can log in so the user has to verify his account so we go to the inbox and here we see the message from edit tutors and the heading that says verify your email address so the user clicks on it and there's a link to activate the account so the user can click on that link as well then here it will take us to this page that says your email has been verified successfully so from here the user can click and it will take us to the index page and we can also log in so we log in with the correct email and password if we try to log in with incorrect details it will show us this message but if we add the correct password then it's going to take us to this home.php page here you can see that we are using a placeholder that is an icon for the user image because the user doesn't have any data inside the profile table but for the first name and the last name we are retrieving this from the sign up table so we have a link here that says complete your profile so if the user clicks on this link or goes to the drop down and click on this com complete profile link it will take them to the page where they will need to complete their profile so let's complete this user's profile we click on this image and we add an image then here we can see that for the first name last name and the email the values have already been retrieved from the sign up table and added to these fields so what the user just needs to do is complete the other fields yet for the gender we add the value from the drop down while for the short quote we can just add a little quote or a little test there something like this is a test then for the about me a description about the user I'll just write something so next the user clicks on the submit button it will take them to the profile page as we can see here from the URL profile.php here we have all the details of the user so from here the user can go to the edit page to edit the details or user can go to the home page and you'll see that for the image we have the user's image then the link here has changed from complete your profile to view your profile so the user can view his profile with this link here we're supposed to display data of other users already on the platform so i'll go ahead and add a new user so we can see the user data but we're only displaying the um, image of other users that is the image of the logged in user is not displayed here so right here you can see that a user is being displayed because we have another user in the profile table because this user is logged in we cannot display the image of the logged in user we are displaying the image of other users here so all users in the table apart from the logged in users will be displayed here so if we log the user out and go to the admin page we log the user out then we click on this tab to go to the admin page they already have a password and email for the admin so i log in the admin so it will take us to the admin dashboard here this is the admin dashboard and this is how the dashboard looks like we use the bootstrap panel to display these images we have two users in the table or in the sign up table we have two verified users but out of the two very no we don't have any user that is not verified that, and we use this column graph to display this data if you click on this link you will see the total users in the sign up table then here we have the number of verified users but for not verified users we have it as empty because there are no users that are not verified the admin email here that is being displayed was stored in a session and we displayed it here so we can log the admin out and it will take us back to this page so this is the application that we are going to build with some other um, functionalities in this i hope to see you in the course goodbye and take care